everybody and welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing demand economics in under five minutes. Before we go into the equations of what constitutes demand, we will outline the determinants of demand. These may be the price of a good, the price of other similar goods, the individual consumer's income, the individual consumer's taste, expectations about future prices, advertising, or any other factors or determinants which you think to be relevant. Equationally, demand could be explained as dx equals f, whereby f is the determinants. Since demand of product x equals the functional combination of px being the price of product x, or pr being the price of other goods, y, t, e, and so forth. Essentially, the function of the demand equation means the demand for good x is a function of, or determined by, the factors in the bracket. Now we will discuss the supply and demand equilibrium, which is when demand equals supply. The equilibrium demonstrates the optimal price, as shown when the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. An increase in demand causes the price to increase, whereas a decrease causes the price to fall. Comparatively, an increase in supply causes the price to fall, whereas a decrease in supply causes the price to rise. When either D or S curves shift, a new equilibrium is made. Another major concept of demand is demand elasticity. The elasticity of demand measures the extent to which demand responds to change in one of the factors, otherwise known as the determinants, which were just discussed previously, that influence it. The most common influences are either price or income. Price elasticity of demand is the equation used when measuring demand's elasticity. You simply pump some numbers into this equation as shown PED, and the number it returns explains the elasticity of demand. For example, if the price of good X increases by 10% and the demand falls by 5%, you would divide negative 5 by 10, which would return with 0.5, demonstrating that the demand elasticity is relatively inelastic, as you can see using uh, this diagram that I've put up here in red. Here, I have written out a practice question for you to try at home, so feel free to pause the video now and try this for yourself, and in five seconds I will show the workings out and the answer. So, a local council raises the price of car parking from £3 per day to £5 per day, and finds that the usage of car parks contracts from 1,200 cars daily to 900 cars. If you were to calculate the price elasticity of demand for this change, you can see that the change in demand equals negative 25% because the cars decreased from 1,200 to 900, which equals out at a 25% decrease. And you can see that the price change has gone up by 66.7 because that is the percentage increase from £3 to £5. And so if you were to divide negative 25 by positive 66.7, you receive the outcome of 0 0.375, which if you refer to the diagram on the bottom right, is inelastic elastic demand. And that is because the PED equals negative or sorry, it is less than one. And so it is inelastic demand. So to summarize, the determinants of demand may cause an increase or decrease in demand. The fluctuation of supply or demand may cause a shift in the equilibrium and subsequently price or quantity. There exist five types of demand elasticity, 
which may be used to calculate PED. And these are shown once again below. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead and drop a like and consider subscribing for more business school concepts simplified. Next video, we'll be discussing courses via forceps, and I look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye.